welcome back to family mendoza vlogs today i have a complete totally different video for you guys i'm actually doing a story time kind of nervous and a little bit really hot already stay tuned and keep watching all about my story of my first tattoo all right so let's begin um my tattoo the tattoo that i wanted i have been thinking about it for the longest um i had a screenshot of it on my phone i saved it and i have the word actually strength decided that i wanted strength because i feel that i as a woman i have a lot of strength um, i gave birth to two kids without any type of medicine i work hard every day and i need that strength to keep going um, i just feel that us as women we have a lot of strength um, we cook we clean we go to work we take care of the kids so i was just really like you know what i want strength on me about either on my finger like this thinking it on my wrist so yeah so i was kind of thinking mostly where i really wanted it but everybody has a story behind a tattoo or a meaning um, and that's the meaning for me why i really wanted strength on my body because i just feel like i'm a really strong woman a strong person and i was like i'm gonna get that i thought about it a long time two three months i kept telling my husband you know what i really want to get a tattoo and he was like oh okay that's cool it never got to the point of me really actually doing it you know at the same time I didn't want to waste money because I was like, I'm going to waste like $100 on a tattoo where I could waste it on something else like clothes or makeup or something that I want, you know, not a tattoo. I was kind of more like, why do I want to waste $100 on a tattoo when I could buy something else? It all began in Lake Tahoe. Okay, so we decided to go to Lake Tahoe. My brother, my sister-in-law my husband and myself and of course our kids uh, my two kids and my nephew so we decided to go on saturday night and stay there sunday the whole day because of course my husband was working and i think my brother was working i'm not really sure but anyways we ended up going to lake tahoe on saturday night and you know we hang out and chilled blah 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 the next day arrived on a sunday and of course my soul had opened my big mouth and be like oh hey there's a tattoo shop right there mm, maybe i should get my tattoo you know that's what i said in the back of my head in my mind i was kind of like it's not gonna happen you know because of course my husband's not gonna want me to waste the money and we're in a little family trip so why would they even wait for me to do it so my husband hears me and he goes oh really so you want to get your tattoo then and i was like uh yeah sure i was like yeah go check the prices you know go see go check what's up well, my husband decides to go upstairs it's like on the second floor of this building um and he goes and comes back and he goes oh hey the tattoo started at 80 dollars and it goes higher i'm gonna do it i was like nah really you want me to do it he's like do you want to i'll buy it for you i was like looking at him like really you're gonna pay for it are you sure he's like yeah and then my sister-in-law was like come on Myra let's do it and I was kind of like yeah I think it'd be cool but really guys I was kind of like tripping out already I was already like am I really gonna do it like are you sure Myra like I was already so worried like I don't know so we decided to go to the building upstairs um to the room and I'm there and I'm like oh looks cool He's like, yeah, so what do you want to get? Do you want to do it? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And he goes, he goes, I bet you won't do it. Oh my goodness. When he said, I bet you won't do it, I was kind of like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. But again, I was scared. I'm tripping out. I'm just like, really, Myra, are you really gonna do it? Oh, so I started looking through my phone. He's like, come on, look through what you want to get and um, think about where and let's do it. I'm just like, um, are you sure, Myra? Like, I'm even dogging myself. I'm like, oh my God, am I sure? Am I really gonna do this? You know, my sister's like, yeah, yeah, let's do it, Myra. If I could do it with you, I would've done it with you. On the side, she's pregnant, so she couldn't do it. But anyways, um, she was like, yeah, come on, let's do it. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, let me just look through my phone. So I kept looking and um, I still have a screenshot of what I wanted. I'll show you guys a picture here of what I wanted. And I was like, I want this. And then I asked him, oh, do you do tattoos on your fingers? 
and then my husband was like what do you recommend if she should do it on her finger or not and he's like no because it doesn't heal that good your fingers kind of like you know your hand kind of covers your fingers it doesn't heal another thing is um, it fades over time so he's like it's not really worth it and I was kind of like oh, okay so before anything of this happened when I was thinking about me getting a tattoo when I was telling you at home I did ask a lot of tattoo artists like what do you guys recommend about the finger and they were like no because it fades and I was like one in my goddamn finger you know I wanted my finger but anyway so I didn't get my finger but um, when they kept saying that I was kind of just like fine you know so um, back to the shop where I'm at in Lake Tahoe with the Bam Bam on a little vacay but anyways I'm there still going through my phone and my husband was like so what you getting what are you gonna get are you gonna get it or what I'm like can you relax I'm trying to look to see if I really want to get it and I'm like but am I really gonna do it because it's always gonna be there in my body like the rest of my life my sister-in-law is actually even looking at her phone looking at um, like pictures she's like oh this is cute that's cute and she's like, so do you know what you want to get? And I was like, well, I still want to get strength, of course. That's what I want to get. He goes, oh, have you thought of maybe like your wrist? And I was like, yeah, that would be cool. But I was like, but I don't want everybody to see it. So still in my head, I'm thinking, I don't want everyone to see my tattoo. My sister-in-law is like, really? Everyone's going to see your tattoo. And I'm like, and my husband's like, that's the point of you having a tattoo. So, still thinking and thinking, and finally my sister-in-law shows me a picture of a girl with like writing, like on her back, or writing like right here on her chest, and I was like, oh yeah, I'd be cool if I had it here in my chest, you know? I was like, I could cover it up with shirts, and nobody was going to see it. Again, why do you want a tattoo if you're not going to show it, right? But that was just my mentality there, because I'm that person that trips out about every little small thing about like if people like oh my god why does she have her hair red why does she do that I'm just kind of like so she showed me a different picture of a picture of a drawing like up here i was like oh my god that would be so freaking cool like right here you know my husband's like so what are you gonna do it and he goes do you think about it get it done i'm gonna pay the guy and i was like hey how much gonna be and he goes well she should tell me what she wants and then I could design design it for you and then whatever size you choose then I'll give you a price so then I was like okay I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna do strength with the heart okay let me draw it for you so he starts drawing it you know and he shows it to me and I'm like I love it it looks really beautiful I like the handwriting and I love the heart what size do you want there's like small size like this medium bigger and bigger right so Again, I'm thinking, I don't want everybody to see it. I want to hide it. I wanted to go for like the smallest one, which was like this small. And that one was like $80. And my husband's like, nobody's going to see that. And I was like, <sighs> went for the second size, which is like this big. And that one was $100. So then the guy tells my husband, hey, it's $100. $100. And then um, my husband's like, yeah, sure. Let me Venmo you the $100. And he does. So now there's no way of me turning back. And I'm just like, am I really gonna do it? I'm tripping balls, I'm dying. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know if I should do it. I'm already like worried, like what is my mom gonna think? You know Mexican moms think the worst of you. Like, oh my God, you're not my daughter no more. I'm gonna disown you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't know what my mom's gonna say. I really didn't wanna do it because of her, you know? I just have this connection with her that I feel that if she's mad at me or she doesn't like something or even my dad, I just feel like I'm gonna not live good for the rest of my life. <laughs> I'm just like worried, you know. So anyways, the guy's like, okay, come over here. Let me put the, like I guess what they do before anything, they do a little design and they kind of put it on the body part that you want and you actually see like the design so you actually it actually looks like you have a tattoo but it's not really there yet so he finally put it on me and i'll show you guys he put it right here and i looked at it and i'm like yeah it looks cute you know but do i really want it there where everybody's gonna see it you know and then 
I was like, oh my god. Like, I was telling my sister, I was like, oh my god, I don't know if I should do it, Mary. She goes, oh, come on, just do it. I was like, you're a bad influence, girl. You, instead of telling me not to do it, it's gonna be in work for the rest of my life. You tell me, yeah. She and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know. I just don't know. I was so worried. You know, I just, oh my god, I couldn't really even be like, so then I was like, okay, can you put it somewhere else just for me to see if it looks good? So he put it right here on my wrist. And again, me thinking about hiding it, I was like, oh, I could just hide it like this. You know, with my watch, since I always wear this watch. And nobody's going to see it. Okay, okay, so what do you want? You, you figured it out, right? So I'm in the chair already sitting down. And I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to do it here. And he's like about to do it. And I'm like, wait. I was like, oh, wait, I am so sorry. Can I... Hold on, can I just call someone? Please just wait. And he's like, Yeah, sure, take your time. And I'm like, And then my sister in law goes, Sorry, this is her first time. She's nervous. He's like, It's okay, don't worry about it. I have a lot of time. So I call my husband and I'm like, Hey, I can't decide. I have it here. And I show him and I was like, Or I have it here. I was like, What do I go for? If I have it here, I can hide it. If I have it here, I don't know if I can hide it that well. And he goes, just do it up here. It looks great. Just go for it. You wanted a tattoo. You've been wanting it for the longest. Today's your chance. I already paid the guy. You cannot go back. And I just was like, oh my God, fine. I'm gonna do it here. I decided to do it here. And are you ready now? I was like, yes, I'm ready. Oh my God, I cannot believe. I was like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. I just, I just can't, you know? And in the back of my head, I was really like, I guess I was, I was kind of excited and kind of upset at the same time because like I said, I really, really like, I guess judge or take in whatever my parents decide. Like I say, my mom was like, um, I never want to see you, I don't want to talk to you. That was going to be the worst thing ever for me. I just was so scared. I texted my mom right there. I was like, hey, I'm getting that tattoo. I'm in the chair already. And she wrote back and she was like, no, you're not. I was like, yes, I am. And she was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. She was like, pues ya que, you know, oh, well, you already got it. I was so worried of what she was going to say, you know, so. The guy started doing the tattoo and my pain, the pain was really feeling like I was being like little stabs of like something sharp go in my body. I do have a recording that I'm gonna put you guys up right now in a bit so you guys can see me actually sitting down in the chair. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, ooh, that one was like a sharp one. Oh, my sister-in-law recorded me um, and in some parts I'm actually like, ow because I feel that sharp pain on there. Not that much, but I did feel the pain when he was actually going, you know. He was just little sharp, little, little like little stabs on there. And he took maybe 15, 25 minutes, I think. And I could tell her, oh my God, Mary, this is gonna be in my body for the rest of my life. And she's like, yeah, that's what a tattoo is. I was really nervous of what my mom and dad were gonna say. But again, you guys, I am grown as fuck. They don't accept me then that's gonna be painful but i'm already grown woman i finished with the tattoo and i looked in the mirror and i was just like it's like yeah looks cute i was like yeah it looks okay she's like you like it and i was like i was like thank you yeah it's really nice i love it i was still tripping tripping the whole time like i just couldn't believe i did that item on my bucket list that I said I was gonna do this year so I did it so I got it I feel like you want to do another one and at that moment literally I was like no I don't want any more damn tattoos like I don't even know what my mom and dad are gonna say to me when they see me you know so her asking me if I wanted more I was like no I don't I don't want any more why would I want more you know now to today the present I think I want to get another one I've been in Lake Tahoe like I never thought I'd do it there and look what happened I did it when I did get there I was kind of avoiding going to her house because I was like I don't know what she's gonna say to me or what she's gonna do I thought she was probably gonna get a chunk line thrown at me you know? <laughs> she called me she's like hey you haven't came to the house what's going on and I was kind of like 
oh, nothing, you know, um, got really busy doing some stuff, but I'll be there the next day. The next day, my mom and dad were there. We were in the kitchen, and my mom goes, so, where's your tattoo? And I was just like, well, it's here, and she goes, show it to me. And I was like, no, I'm embarrassed. And she's like, why are you embarrassed? Just show it to me. You already have it on. And I was like, no, it's embarrassing to show my mom, you know, because I'm just like worried what she was going to do, slap me or hit me, throw a chancla, I don't know, you know. And my dad's sitting there eating, just really like quiet, and I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be like, da, 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 you know, why did you do No, I'm just kidding. But I was kind of like scared, you know. And she was like, come on, just let me see it. Yeah, déjame verlo. Si ya lo tienes ya que. So I go like this. And I show it to her and she goes, oh, okay, que dice, you know, and I tell her, oh, it's strength, you know, fuerzas with the heart. She goes, oh, it looks nice, you know, it looks good. But that's about it. I me siento mal, like I feel bad. And she's like, why? And I was like, because I have tattoo. It's going to be in my body for the rest of my life. And she goes, oh, okay, si, es cierto, you know, that's what's going to happen. To my dad because he didn't ask me to you know he didn't ask me like hey let me see it but I was too embarrassed to be like oh look dad and you know yeah you know what are you talking about why you get that shit done you know one day I sit next to my mom I picked her up to go to gym and I was like hey I've been wanting to ask you this and she's like what well, I was like I want to do a video of your reaction or what you thought and she goes okay about what and I was like what you thought about me getting a tattoo and she goes oh my god really you want to record me saying how I felt because I did feel some type of way when you told me that you were doing it. He goes, yeah, sure. Um, I did feel some type of way and it was sad. And I'm like, okay, so I guess she wasn't all right. She was fine, but she wasn't fine when I told her. For what my mom told me, my dad's reaction was totally different than hers. My dad was more like, ah, déjala. She's grown already. She's a grown woman. She could do whatever she wants in her life. And it's weird because my dad's always been the guy like, no, you can't do that. Why did you do that? I don't want you doing that. You're this, you're that, and you know, he will beat her up. My mom was like, did you just say that? I thought you were gonna say something else. But yeah, my mom had a completely whole different uh, thought and feeling of me getting a tattoo. I never thought I was gonna get one, like I said, never in my whole life I thought I was actually even gonna go through with it and more in Lake Tahoe it's like I'm not even in my hometown I'm in, in Lake Tahoe and um, it was like a big surprise because my husband was actually like you ain't gonna do it and I was like yes I am I didn't want to though I was tripping but now guys it looks so cute like I can wear little tops like this and like that it ended because I gotta go do some mommy duties the kids are crying and my husband's like mom babe where are you I go cater to my kids and I guess my husband and it's already late and I gotta take off my makeup take all this off because the party is over story time is over but I will see you guys in another video on snapchat I'll put that up too you guys can see my crazy kids and myself and my husband and also you guys subscribe comment and give me a little thumbs up if you guys want to see more story times because I do have other stories it's just kind of like scary to even open up up in here because I don't know just kind of scary and it takes kind of time well, it takes time but anyways I'll see you guys next time on my next video family Mendoza vlogs bye guys do, do. Ah! what are you guys doing let my mama go